Hello guys, my name is Vijay Kumar Vaka. I am working as Senior Solution Consultant in Episero. In this session, let us discuss about how to mask um, properties in Runtime Manager. Okay, so for this, I have prepared a simple application. Um, so we'll see uh, how to mask the properties in the Runtime Manager after going through that application. So the application is this that uh, we have a HTTP listener where the path is hello and we have a logger it prints the payload which will send it as an input from postman and here I have configured FTP right so FTP is nothing but file transfer uh, protocol and uh, yeah I mean I have used the FTP connector here and also HTTP connector and secure properties these three are required uh, so yeah, so I have used the FTP right and I'm writing uh, a file into a location by using uh, FTP write operation um, So Yeah, I mean so in order to configure this right you have to uh, Get the details of the FTP right so we have a public uh, uh, FTP services, okay, so this is for free and even if you want to do any POC on FTP connector you can utilize this uh, website so here right uh, as soon as I mean if I click here so it will route to this particular uh, uh, page and you could see here the FTP URL username and password so I have used all these uh, details uh, for this POC now uh, if you see the configuration right of the FTP you could see the host port username and password so I have configured all these things in the uh, ML file uh, which is uh, residing under properties folder if you see this uh, we have configured all these things host port username and password right so because password is a sensitive information uh, which cannot be disclosed to anyone else uh, right so we have to encrypt that so in order to encrypt that right uh, first of all we have to choose a key right so I have chosen my key as this one so hello world at the rate of one two three four five so by using this key I'm going to encrypt this password which is the actual uh, password uh, that was provided uh, as a password from this site okay now I have to encrypt this right so in order to do that right we can utilize this uh, this web page so here I'll pass this um, my key and the value that needs to be encrypted and algorithm and state I'll keep default so let me pass this password so that it will give the encrypted value so if I click on generate this is the encrypted value right that this is what we have to keep in the uh, properties file if you want uh, uh, your sensitive information to be encrypted so if I do control F and control V it should match with this one because I have already configured right so now we are good with the configuration and um, I have already configured I mean I have already filled this details in the FTP config uh, right secure uh, double colon FTP dot host port username and password show password okay so, okay now what I'm doing here uh, because we don't have any um, uh, any further directory inside this right uh, I, I'm just using this uh, root directory itself slash okay so that's the reason you could see slash abc.txt so for example if I this application is already up and running let me clear the console now if I send something uh, uh, to this right uh, let's say hello world uh, this is a demo on masking the properties in runtime so let's say this is the payload which we are sending so the, what this will do this uh, application will write uh, uh, this payload in this location with name abc.txt okay so let us refresh this and see if we have any file with abc.txt so yeah directly listing of slash is successful so that means we, we don't have anything uh, named abc.txt right now if I click this if I send a request from this we should be able to uh, what happened I guess it is 
it's a problem let me try one more time yeah now we are good right so let me refresh here so that means uh, we have success uh, successfully uh, written a file in this directory so let me download this and see how it looks like what is the content of that let me overwrite yeah now if i open this right see whatever we have given from postman uh, we, we could see the same content in the ftp directory so all good this is the application i made now the agenda is how can we uh, mask this thing mask the key right uh, because we we can directly pass uh, this value in in the secure properties this way right so file I have config I am pointing to this particular file where I have passed env as a global property you could see that here right env equal to dev so so as per this particular pattern it is looking for property slash config hyphen dev dot ml so which we have already created and it is good now for key so we have to pass some key right to encrypt uh, your password or your sensitive information in all the uh, i mean let's say we have ftp here now tomorrow you have salesforce con connection or uh, um, like i mean if you are sending some request to some external service where they provide you with the uh, username and password so there you have to encrypt the password so so but you do this encryption based upon a single key right based upon uh, some single token or password or whatever so this can be passed from the runtime uh, properties as well so but even you can configure uh, it like this okay for example if i copy that here you, you can you can pass this way as well it works perfectly fine but if if you pass this way if someone else has the access for the source code then they can easily understand what is the key right that you are trying that you are using for uh, your uh, encryption of the sensitive information right so in order to hide so so it's better uh, we hide this particular key so in order to hide this right what we can do you have to uh, go to the mule artifact dot json uh, from the same uh, application and you have to define a key like secure properties and inside that you have to pass uh the key i mean here i have defined it as a key right so that is the reason i have configured it as simply key oh sorry see here i have defined it as a key now for example if you want to define it as encryption dot key you can you, you can write it as encryption dot key okay like that so as i have defined only uh, the key as key or password as key i i have just uh, uh, filled this uh, I mean I have passed that value as a key here so you can also mask multiple uh, multiple values that you pass from the runtime manager by separating it with comma for example let's say I'm going to hide something like something else I want to mask from the runtime manager say like salesforce dot password so you have to define your uh, salesforce dot i mean you have to define it like this force password so this this information you have to um, i mean anyway if it is a password we will encrypt it but my point is that if you want to encrypt something uh, i mean my point is that if you want to mask something you have to pass the key uh, or the path or this hierarchy in in this uh, secure property so that uh, it will be masked in the runtime manager so if i show you i have deployed the same application and you could see that uh, the key got uh, masked right so if i delete this so what what happens automatically so if i copy this or if i even type it here right hello world at the rate of one two three four five right even uh, at the time of typing itself uh, um, I mean it is uh, being masked right so this is the way you can mask uh, the sensitive uh, information from the runtime manager and application properties 
and you have to use a mule artifact.json file and the key you should use as secure properties this way and you have to use different keys whatever you would like to mask okay so uh, this is what i wanted to tell in this uh, demo uh, you can try uh, the same way you can try this application you can create uh, the application the way i have uh, created this simple application and you can try uh, working on uh, how to mask the properties for example now i already copied this thing so if i copy this and paste it here so the path is hello as i already have shown you so for example if i send this uh, input right now let's refresh this yeah there is no file right now let me send this uh, request okay there seems to be some uh, access restriction let, let's try one more time because it's a public uh, ftp right so uh, we have a limit on the number of hits to that uh, ftp uh, server so we should be seeing something like abc.txt and you could see the number of uh, bytes is of 25 right so previously it was 64 now it is of 25 so let me click on okay and you could see the same thing hello world how are you yeah so this is what i wanted to tell you in this demo and you can do the same poc by yourselves and you can understand it and please verify the documentation for more information thank you so much for listening to my video have a good day